direct from Moscow. Live questions from Russians to their president. A marathon call-in show, three and a half hours with Vladimir Putin. Putin on potholes. Putin on doping. Plus, a predictable swipe at foreign bullies. You can't manipulate. You can't force Russia to act and dance how you want to your tune. You just need to work with us as an equal partner. But Russia's depressed economy prompted the most questions. People not getting paid or losing their jobs. He didn't duck the obvious, but said next year will be better. The show, set in a beautifully ornate building five minutes from the Kremlin, is part of a well-funded media strategy. From over two million questions, 80 were chosen, meant to challenge the president, but he was clearly well-briefed in advance. It's slick. Warmer words for Canada's newish prime minister in a post-show media scrum. Mr. Putin, Mr. Putin, good, good afternoon, good afternoon. New government in Canada, new prime minister. How do you see relations with Canada going forward? Positively. The way I understand it, the new prime minister of Canada wants to build on everything positive we had in previous years. That totally suits us. We will work together with pleasure. That is in stark contrast with others in Russia's government who regularly accuse Canada of being America's lapdog and sharply criticize sanctions over Ukraine. Putin plays both roles well, charmer and aggressor. Live TV is his stage, and with the Kremlin's grip on broadcast media, there's little chance of a misstep. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Moscow.